Moments with Mrs. V. Good morning, Spartans, and welcome to A Mindful Moment with Mrs. V. In an effort to continue to raise awareness of suicide prevention, I want to talk a little bit about some of the data and some of the things that you can do. However, I also want to allow um, students and staff to take a moment and step outside. If this is a topic that is particularly difficult for you to listen to, um, you're more than welcome to do that at this moment. Thank you. And so why is Mrs. V talking about this issue? Why is it a big deal? Well, because as you can see on the screen in front of you, every 40 seconds, we lose someone to suicide. And so this is a real problem that is plaguing our country and other countries as well. And so today I wanna to focus on three things that you can do to help those that are around you. And the first thing that you can do is if you see a friend, a family member that is struggling, you can ask them kindly and gently, hey, are you thinking about suicide? You've been saying some things that are causing me to be a little bit concerned. Asking someone opens the door and it breaks away the stigma. It breaks away the um, awkwardness. And so you may open up a door that was shut very hard. And, um, and so that's, that's empowering to someone who is struggling. The second thing that you can do is listen, listen with your heart. That means without judgment, that means without giving your own opinion, that means just listening from the depths of your heart to hear what that person has to say and encourage them to seek help. It's not up to you to keep the, the puzzle pieces together. It is not up to you to keep someone safe. It is not up to you to make sure that someone doesn't injure themselves. But one thing you can do is you can encourage them to seek help. You can walk with them to seek help. You can let them know, hey, these are the people that are here to support you. And so if we can start by doing those three things, I think we can save a lot of lives by doing so. Suicide thoughts are things that you should never keep a secret. You can actually report it anonymously to a counselor, um, the school psychologist, or myself. And so thank you so much, Spartans, for tuning in. <clears throat> please know that we are here to support you. We are here to provide resources. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Mindful Mondays. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, it's now Mindful Moments. <laughs> okay, th take care, Spartans. Have a good weekend. Hi, my name is Kristen. I have suffered from anxiety and or depression since I was 18, which was 20 years ago. Um, what I would say to my younger self is don't be fooled by this game of perfection that humans play because Instagram and magazines and TV shows, they strive for a certain aesthetic and everything looks so beautiful and people seem like they don't have any problems, but everyone's human. Everyone has problems. Everyone feels yucky on the inside sometimes and you deserve to feel just as beautiful on the days you wear no makeup and the days you don't shower and the days you feel like you're depressed. And you have an obligation to take care of yourself from the inside out because that's how you can truly feel beautiful. There are resources out there um, if you're feeling anxious of people to talk to and doctors to interact with. And there are tons of solutions out there for you. You are not alone alone. Never feel embarrassed or ashamed about who you are. There are plenty of things to feel embarrassed or ashamed about. If you forget your mom's birthday, feel embarrassed about that. <laughs> if you are prone to gossiping, feel ashamed about that. But never feel embarrassed or ashamed about the uniqueness that is you. Because there are people out there to help. And we're all just human. And you can do it. Kids struggling with a mental health or learning disorder need a place to turn. Please give to the Childmind Institute at childmind.org so they can help more kids like me. That was Mindful Moments with Mrs. V. See you soon, Spartans. 
What's up Spartans? I'm hey Spartans. My name is Jocelyn Jimenez. And my name is Sofia Gonzalez. And we'll be your host for today. Today's date is September 29, 2023. And today's character discount quote is, keep your promises and be consistent. Be the kind of person others can trust. Do you know when they signed the Declaration of Independence? No, when? July 4th. Anyways, let's do the pledge. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Up is the Daily News. I'm Johnny Lowen with the Daily News. Kona Ice is coming to Stafford this Friday after school. Three sizes will be available for purchase, four, five, and six dollars. There will be lots of different flavors to choose from. You can pay with cash or credit card. Thank you for supporting our fundraiser. Hey students, tired of screens? Want to unplug and have some real fun with friends? Come roll the dice with us. And starting next Wednesday, October 4th, the Board Game Club will be hosting its first meeting after school. Once again, that's Wednesday, October 4th at 1.31 p.m. All skill levels welcome. See you there, Game Changers. Garden Club now has two different groups. Each group meets on two different Mondays a month. See Ms. Clark during lunch to find out what garden group you are in and your Monday meeting dates. Again, Garden Club has new f now formed two different groups. Each group meets on two different Mondays a month. See Ms. Clark during lunch to find out what garden group you are in in your Monday meeting day. Starting this Friday, lanyards with ID must be worn by all students. Distribution of lanyards will be on Friday period two. Again, starting this Friday, lanyards with ID card must be worn by all students. Reminder for eighth grade students, all CJSF applications are due no later than today to rooms 37 and 48 or band room. Please remember to attach a copy of your June 2023 semester two report card. Again, reminder for eighth grade students, all CJSF applications are due no later than today to room 37, 48, or band room. Please remember to attach a copy of your June 2023 semester two report card. Again, my name is Joycelyn Jimenez. And my name is Sofia Gonzalez. Today's date is September 29th, 2023. And this week's Character Counts quote is, Keep your promises and be consistent. Be the kind of person others can trust. Don't forget to read, lead, and succeed. Bye, Bye Spartans. Spartans. My favorite artist is probably Tyler the Creator, and my favorite album is probably Igor. My favorite artist is The Spears, and my favorite album is The Queen is Dead. My favorite artist is Tyler the Creator, and my favorite album is Call Me If You Get Lost. Hi, my name is Carlos Eaton. Uh, my favorite artist is Tyler the Creator, and my favorite album is Wolf. My favorite artist is Melanie Martinez, and uh, my favorite album is probably King 12. My favorite artist is Will Wood and the Tape Loans, and I like the album Everything Is A Lot. Who is your favorite artist? Drake. Can you name a song for me? In Too Deep. Can you sing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. 
Who is your favorite artist? Tyler the Creator. Can you name a song? Can I get a kiss? And can you make it last forever? I said I'm about to go to war. Get him off the Who is your favorite music artist? Money Sign Sway. Okay, what's your favorite song? All of them. Can you sing one of them? I'm not singing. Why? Because I'm not singing. Okay. Who's your favorite music artist? Uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Uh, Baby. Okay. Favorite music artist? Six Nine. What's your favorite song by him? Gooba. Can you sing it? Do, 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 do. What's your favorite music artist? Music artist what? I'd say Kanye West or Kendrick Lamar. Just some basic answers. Yo, Can you say one of those albums? Huh? Can you say one of those albums? Either one? Yeah. Uh, we have Dan from Kendrick Lamar and we got Graduation yes. Kanye West. <laughs> Can you sing them? Hmm? Can you sing them? The entire album? Sure. No. We got time to waste. No, man. Alright.